Are we ready, Melissa? Almost. Yep. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to call this meeting to order the Cook County Public Health and Human Services Board to order on June 20th at 8.30 a.m. Um, very short meeting today as we have our, our special meeting um, scheduled after this, but we're taking care of business. And um, uh, first thing is to look for approval of the consent agenda, which includes our meeting agenda, the minutes, financial report, abstracts and bills, and a, and a resignation. Um, anything anyone would like to pull from there and talk about, or is there a motion? <coughs> Mr. Chair, I'd like to move to approve the consent agenda. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Selvin, we have a motion. Is there support? I'll second. Thank you, Commissioner White. We have a motion and support. Any further discussion? I have a question. Yes, please. Allison, are you going to talk about the resignation? Um, I included a summary in my written report, but I'm happy to address questions. From okay, we can do it later. Thank you. I'm fine. <coughs> Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Moving on to our director's report. Good morning, Alice. So, good morning, commissioners. In the interest of time today, I included a submission of a written report this month. Happy to address any questions about the information within. Well. Would, would I did not yeah. read. I did not read the report. So I, when I looked at the agenda this morning, and I apologize, I was just wondering w if you have any other details around the resignation that we should be aware of. It just seems like every time, every other meeting, we have somebody who's resigning here, and it, it's just troubling. And so I just thought I'd ask that question. And if it doesn't pertain right now, perhaps we can do it later. Thank you for your question, Pat, and absolutely a shared concern. Anytime we lose a member of our team, it is devastating. We are a small team, and it has significant ripple effects on the people we serve, as well as the other team members when anyone chooses to leave our organization. So we're very sad to see Abby um, moving on. Um, I can share an update that we will be reposting that position as a uh, case manager position only. Um, you might remember that we, within the last few years, have been incorporating therapeutic support services, community mental health support services within our case manager positions as a means to address some of the gaps left in the community following HDC's closure and Ascend's departure from the community. Something that we found is that created confusion for staff, for clients, for others, when we don't have a really solid case management team and a well-integrated relationship with a therapeutic provider, either at the clinic or otherwise. So uh, one of our ways to address that following Abby's resignation is to post the position as a case manager only. They're evaluated at the same grade, so there's no budgetary impact. And as we have more stability within our team, we can begin to reevaluate and perhaps integrate some of those therapeutic support services within our, our staff. How long was she in the position? Just about six months. So Abby previously was working as a community mental health skills worker, uh, working primarily with adults. She was in that position for about six months as well. Prior to that, she was a member of our public health temporary staff during the pandemic, uh, working in case investigation, contact tracing, providing other support. Uh, to our pandemic response. So Abby's been with us now for a couple years, but in her uh, current role, just about six months. Thank you. Thanks for the question. Thanks for discussion there. Any other questions around um, Allison's report or, or anything else? Then I'll move on to item four, items for board action. Whoops. Okay, move on to item five, adjournment. Wow. <laughs> I just like to put in a plug for uh, the what's going on with the uh, current look at our next health assessment survey. Mm -hmm. I went to the first meeting. I thought they, Grace and team did a very nice job in trying to gain a lot of in interest and we have another meeting coming up. So I'd just like to urge everyone who's in, in listening to come to that next meeting. It would be great. 
Well, and I, I'd love to hear feedback on the hybrid, how that how that went for people. I was on that. It was yeah. very good. Uh, good. Yes, I was on good that. Job. Yeah, good I, job of including people and hearing and all that. I really appreciated doing that deep dive and breaking things mm -hmm. out, and it was it was really, and then just to have those small group discussions, and I had to take off early, so I didn't get the, the end, but um, yeah. I thought it was great. Yeah. So congratulations to Grace and team. <coughs> All right. Well, here we are. It's 8.35 and uh, 8.36 <laughs> in the a.m. here at... Um, All meetings should be like this. Uh, <laughs> I think you have broken my record for the shortest meeting. So <laughs> congratulations, Commissioner Mills. Well, it takes a team, right? Uh, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I have a motion. Is there support? Support. Thank you, Anna. We have support. Any <coughs> further discussion? Hearing or seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. We are adjourned. So maybe you get ahead of schedule. <laughs> <laughs> For once in my life. <laughs> <laughs>